Hi, Year 5, and welcome to the Lorax Lesson 5, okay? On your timetable, it's called the warning signs, okay? I want to make it clear about why it's called that. Now, what you're going to do today, part of the activity, is to use images, okay? So use the pictures to infer, okay? So that word infer, we use that a lot in guided reads, which is to take clues, take ideas, and come up with your own then, okay? That'll make more sense when I tell you what you're doing for the activity. Okay, so first of all, we're going to read, we have read this before, this bit, okay, but I'm going to remind you about it, okay, because it's a new week, and sometimes it's good for a little refresh, okay? So if you want to, you can read aloud with me, along with the video, okay, because it's on your screen. If not, just sit back and listen, okay, but make sure you are taking a long look at those images, those pictures, those illustrations, okay? Okay. Way back in the days when the grass was still green and the pond was still wet and the clouds were still clean, the song of the swarmy swans rang out in space. One morning I came to this glorious place and I first saw the trees, the truffle trees, the bright coloured tufts of the truffle trees, mile after mile in the fresh morning breeze. And under the trees, I saw brown barber loots frisking about in their barber loot suits as they played in the shade and ate truffle fruits. From the ripulous pond came the comfortable sound of the humming fish humming while splashing around. But those trees, those trees, those truffle trees, all my life I've been searching for trees such as these. The touch of their tufts was made much softer than silk. And they had the sweet smell of fresh butterfly milk. I felt a great leaping of joy in my heart. And I knew just what I'd do. I'd unload my cart. In no time at all, I had built a small shop. Then I chopped down a truffle tree with one chop. And with great skillful skill and with great speedy speed, I took the soft tuft and I knitted a thread. Okay, so we're not going to read any more just at the moment because this is all about the warning signs, okay, about looking at the images and inferring how we know maybe something is about to happen. Okay, so if I just flick back, okay, so in this image you can see that everything looks lovely, everything is nice and peaceful, okay, it calls it a glorious place, okay. So at the moment, things look okay. Now using the images, once again, you can see... Okay, that the bears are having a lovely time, the fish are swimming, everything looks lovely. Hmm, now in the next one, things start to change a little bit. Okay, you can see here that the one slur, okay, his hands are reaching out the wagon and he's tugging on those trees. Okay, you can see a little line that show you the fact he's tugging on them. He's not just having a little soft touch of them, like you might a flower, he's pulling on it, isn't he? Okay, and then look down here. What is he unloading? Why might that be a bit of a bad sign? If we know that he's focused on the trees, why might the axe be a bad sign? Hmm? I want you to be thinking about these things in your head at the moment, okay? Think about the fact that in this image, that at the moment, there isn't any animals, okay? And you can see the tree is bending. Okay, if we're yanked or we're pulled, we can be a little bit sore, can't we? Okay, and once again, going back to these, look at what he's unloaded. What might happen next? And then, even more so, you can see here he's set up a little shop. Okay. Now, I'm taking note of this little barbaloo, okay? This is what it looks like, a bit like a bear, okay? And he looks very curious at what's being made. Looks a little bit confused, actually. Okay. Then I'm going to zoom in on this little bit here where the tree's been chopped down, okay? Because... These trees look like they're meant to just stand nice and proud, don't they? Okay, and if you can see, it's been chopped down, and you can see that that axe is resting there. So that tells me, I'm inferring from that, that this once let isn't finished. He's not packing his things away, and he's not leaving. Okay, he's set up a shop. Okay, and it looks to me like he's planning to stay. Okay, so your activity today is to make a note about what is happening in each of these images. Okay, these are three images I've discussed. OK, so look closely. OK, I want you to really, really focus in on what's being thrown out the car, how he's tugging on the tree. OK, what's going on in this image where he's set up his shop? Think of the little barber loot. OK, what are the warning signs that something bad might be happening? OK, 
So once again, if you need to pause the video, go back to what I was talking about in the images about how I saw the warning signs, but you may also see different ones. So for example, in this picture here, I've just noticed that there's a bird looking out of the tree and doesn't look quite too sure what's going on. Okay, then you need to predict what might happen next in the book. Now I know some of you may have seen the film, okay, or may have read the book, okay? And that's fine, you can use that prediction. But if you've not, this is not I don't want you to go and find out. This is part of the activity. I want you to use what we've already read, okay, and have a go at predicting what may come next in the book. Okay. Thanks, year five.